When it comes to Google ads, your descriptions are basically like ad copies. And here's exactly why. Now, if you're somebody that has been using Facebook ads, TikTok ads, even Pinterest ads for that matter for a long time, you know that your ad copy is basically made up of the video or image ad that you decide to use along with the little description above the video or image ad, which appears on people's timeline. And obviously you spend a lot of time focusing on those kinds of ad copies, making sure everything is correct, making sure your video is top notch or your image is the highest quality before you decide to spend advertising budget. And when you kind of transition over to Google ads, the entire foundation of having a good ad copy simply changes because as you know it, if you already use Google ads, there is no specifically ad copy which you show your customers with Google ads. And basically all you're really showing is your titles and your photos, at least on the Google shopping listing side of things. So exactly how do you end up getting good results with Google ads? How do you make sure that you're making sales profitably and consistently while growing your brand like you see a lot of other e-commerce store owners doing with Google ads? Here's exactly how. You focus on product description. And going back to the Facebook ads, TikTok ads example, your ad copy is basically not only going to help you get more sales with your ads, but also do the following. It's going to represent your brand. So whatever ad copy you have, it's a direct representation of what your e-commerce brand is, what you sell, etc. which is of course gonna make it a lot more important, especially if you wanna build something long-term. And also number two, your ad copy gets the product that you're trying to sell in front of the right audience. Meaning, if you're trying to sell a dog necklace, Obviously in your ad copy, in your video ad, image ad, along with the description that's at the top, you would not have words like cat necklace or panda necklace or pig necklace. Obviously, if you're trying to sell a dog necklace, you would have more words like dog necklace within the video or image ad, maybe show a dog necklace in action within the video. And with again, Google ads, you can't really have video ads, image ads, etc. but you can have your descriptions. You can have the images that appear on your Google shopping listing. So now connecting that to Google ads, you are going to want to focus more, especially on your product descriptions. If you really want to have a solid conversion rate with Google, because before we actually dive into how to make a proper description, it's important for you to know what defines the exact success of a Google shopping listing or even a Google search listing for that matter. The number one thing is of course the pricing. Number two thing is the product image. Number three things is the product title. And number four is the description. On the front end, what appears on your shopping listing is the price, title, and image. So obviously those are extremely important. You should really be focusing on those because that is the equivalent of a Facebook video ad or a Facebook image ad that you launch on Facebook or even any other platforms that are similar to Facebook. So with Google ads, you need to focus on these things. This video is not about how to make the right image ad or title, etc. because I've made a lot of videos on this. This video is about what happens after somebody lands on your product page itself, what they read, what they do after that. Besides, if somebody becomes your customer or if they just end up leaving. So this is going to impact your conversion rates directly. And of course, you wanna pay a lot of attention to your overall funnel, including your descriptions. Now I'm gonna be honest, description is the last thing that should be on your plate when it comes to fixing, because if you don't have the right product, if you don't have the right image, pricing, etc., things are just not gonna work out for you with Google Ads period. So be sure to have those things correct. Again, I have a lot of videos on that on my channel, but this is all about description. So what is the right format for a description in 2022 and onwards, and how should you be writing them so that you get more conversions, you get a higher conversion rate overall. Now, the format is gonna be very simple, and to illustrate this, I am gonna be taking you over to a sample product page, which does a perfect job of laying out this format and that specific product page is this one right over here. It's called toybox.com, one of the most famous examples I always show within a lot of my videos. And here's exactly why this is such a good example. Now, before we actually dive into this example, I wanna lay out exactly how a good description for Google ads in 2022 should be. And we're gonna look at Toybox just to kind of go over this. So at the very top, you want to have some kind of video which describes the product or which describes your store starting 2022. At the very top of your description, you should start off by repeating your entire title. And this is done for search engine optimization purposes. As you know, with Google ads, 
SEO is extremely important and obviously you want to take the right step by having your main title repeat at the very top. So in H2 heading, what you want to do is you want to have the main title repeated at the very top. Unfortunately, Toybox here repeats it after the video that they have. But what you want to do is you want to repeat this at the very top. After you have repeated the main title in H2 heading, you want to include a video right below the heading. And this is extremely important, a whole new change compared to what I used to recommend in 2020, 2021, simply because nowadays videos do a lot of the talking and attention spans of people is just reducing over time. Who would spend their time, energy and make effort reading all of these big chunky paragraphs when a simple video at the top just describes everything that they have to know. And a lot of people nowadays just prefer video over actually reading something. So you want to give them what they want to see. And that's why having some kind of video, even if it's 10 seconds, 20 second 30 seconds long just have something that people can directly watch at the very top right below the heading but once you have that at the very top then you want to start off writing your actual description and now this is the important part first things first before i tell you the overall format what you want to understand is that whenever i say paragraph in this video i mean something with two to four sentences long you don't want to have anything above four sentences long and you don't want to have anything below two sentences because we want to keep things short simple and sweet so whenever i say paragraph just think of a two to four sentence thing and you don't want to again have anything above or anything below that's just the right way to do descriptions in 2022 and onwards and toybox does this actually very very well as you can see they have one and two sentences sentences within each paragraph usually that's exactly what you want to do the more simple you keep things the better it is but of course just writing random words is not the way to go with descriptions for google ads so here's exactly what you do below your main video you want to have two different paragraphs again two to four sentences each and these should be introducing the product in some way shape or form and toybox does this well they say Toybox is the first easy to use one touch 3D printer for kids to design and print their own toys. So very simple introduction statement, kind of just describing the product, exactly what it is, who it's for, the ideal audience. This is for kids. And notice that this is actually a SEO keyword. This is not just something random that they decided to put in there just because this is actually a search engine optimized keyword with good monthly searches. And if you don't believe me, just directly type this keyword up in the Google Keyword Planner tool and you will see for yourself how many people search for this on Google every month. But that's exactly what you want to be doing. The foundation for good paragraphs has not changed. You want to be following proper search engine optimization techniques. But after that, it says with an enormous toy catalog, we are introducing affordable fun for the whole family. Just a very simple introduction. Also doing proper copywriting. Next thing it just says how the toys can come to life with this kind of product and you can design your own toys in the app. Just basically describing how to use the product. You want to be doing the same for your product description. Just have some kind of introduction within these two paragraphs. Be sure to use a one search and an optimized keyword per sentence. So obviously you don't want to be forcing these keywords into each sentence. You want to kind of let it flow naturally. And that's exactly what Toybox is doing here. Now, unfortunately, Toybox has this third paragraph here. But what you want to do for your layout is after the second paragraph, have an image or a GIF describing the product in some way, shape or form. So what Toybox could have done is maybe they could have used an image like this showing the product in use or maybe just an image like this. So just keep things very simple and basically professional. Just have an image or a GIF below that second paragraph, because now after this image or GIF, you're going to be having two more paragraphs just again describing the product, how it's beneficial for them while introducing SEO techniques. Again, it's all about SEO for the algorithm, but in terms of copywriting, that's what it's going to help in terms of converting the user. You want to do both things with your descriptions. Don't just put a bunch of keywords in there because sure, the algorithm will be happy, but the customer will not be so happy. And if you don't use any kinds of search and optimization techniques, your customer will be happy, but your algorithm will not be happy. So you got to find a balance with product descriptions in 2022 and onward. So after that product image or GIF have two more paragraphs, because below these second pair of paragraphs, you want to have one more image. And this can be just a simple image describing the product in some way, shape or form. And by by the way, I do not recommend having too much text within these images just to again keep things very simple, professional and straightforward. And after the second image, you're going to have a specifications section where you're just directly describing the specifications 
of the product. Now, previously in the past few years, I used to recommend you have three different features and then specification and all of this extra junk. And nowadays in 2022, I believe in the art of simplicity. The more simple words you use, the better it's gonna convert because people, again, they have very low attention time spans and they would just rather understand things better and faster so they don't end up wasting their own time. So you wanna give that to them. So after that second image, just have a specifications list. You can directly copy and paste this from the big suppliers. And then after this, you wanna have a little section called what's included. Now, Toybox here does that perfectly. They say what's included, and then they give a full specification of everything that is included while doing search engine optimization techniques. Like you see right here, it says 3D printer. Of course, that's not just done just because they put Toybox 3D printer in total because of search engine optimization techniques. You wanna be doing the same thing for your product descriptions. And below that, you wanna keep things very simple, just talk about shipping information. Unfortunately, Toybox does not do that here. They just talk about some more specifications related to the item. And now here is the biggest change of all. Instead of just ending the description after talking about product specifications and shipping information, you wanna, in 2022 and onwards, start including something like a specific image similar to this one right here. So you can find an image like this on Google Images, have a graphic designer make one for you, but it should say, as seen on and then something below that. Now you don't necessarily have to put as seen on Shark Tank because obviously then people are gonna want proof that your product was on Shark Tank and you don't have any proof if it wasn't on Shark Tank. So you can find some other kinds of websites which this kind of trust badge comes with because in 2022 and onwards, this is the new trust badge. I do not recommend anymore that you have those payment verified trust badges below that to cart buttons because it's just overused. Everybody knows about them. A lot of e-commerce websites, which have scammed a lot of people, have used it previously and the average consumer has basically gotten over it. So you wanna kinda of stand out of the crowd and I recommend you do something like this where it's just as seen on and then just talk about a specific place where it was seen on or you can just have another type of trust badge in general. Basically, something different than what you find on an average e-commerce store website. And Toybox did an amazing job here by having this as seen on because again, it just helps them stand out of the crowd. You can't really see a lot of websites out there which have an as seen on Shark Tank badge on their website. And obviously that's gonna improve their conversion rates. And one good thing about this kind of badge is you can directly have Shopify hard code this in for you. All you need to do is with Shopify support and supply them with a product image which they can hard code in for you. But that pretty much sums up the right kind of description that you should have in 2022. Keep things again very simple. Just follow this general layout for all of your product descriptions. Not only is it gonna save you a lot of time in terms of writing the description because the layout I used to recommend before, it personally took me 30 minutes to an hour when I was new to follow that layout to write the description. And I'm not saying that that doesn't work obviously it still works because I still have old products crushing it with the Google Ads that follow that layout. But in 2022 and onwards, this is kind of the better way to go, much more time effective way. But if you're currently doing $30,000 or more in total of revenue per month on average with your e-commerce brand and you need help scaling it further with Google Ads, go on my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with my team to see how I can personally help you scale your e-commerce brand to the next level because I can personally work with you on your brand and basically do it for you. So again, just book a free call with me. It doesn't require any type of money. It doesn't have any type of commitment. But if you find any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button. And I will see you in my next video.